YouTube, it's your boy Raymond Taco Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm about another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I made a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you need a shadow playlist, feel free to share the playlist. Today I'm about another video and sharing my thoughts on Deputy's pound on top of Ervo. Artino before he died in custody. There's a story going around for the last week that um, another guy had died in police custody and I want to share my thoughts and read the article along with it. And like I said, shocking surveillance video has been released in connection with the death of 28 year old Ervo Artino who died in police custody. As we reported, Artino was taking handcuffs and lead irons from Richmond, Virginia to Central State hospital in Pittsburgh from Henrico County Jail. So this is what happened in Richmond, Virginia. The Washington Post reports that the footage from the, vid the vid Virginia Psych Psych Psychiatric Faculty where Artino Parish shows seven deputies and three hospital staff smothering the restraint 28 year old for over 11 minutes and said he stopped breathing and moving. Currently, 10 people have been charged over the March 6th death. So this happened March 6th. This happened a month ago. The new and release for this show, Henrico County Deputy bringing a restraint and shirtless Artino into an empty room and placing him on a chair. By the 4.26 p.m. timestamp, deputies moved Artino onto the floor and began to restrain him. At one point, there are 10 people on top of him, on top of him. It took 10 people to restrain one handcuffed person. It took 10 y'all to restrain, to restrain one person. That's crazy in itself. That's crazy in itself. Don't, don't show no signs of him putting up a fight or anything as you watch the video. That's crazy. I don't know what the man did wrong to be in police custody in the first place. But dang. It took 10 of y'all to restrain this man. See, he stopped breathing. That's sad in itself, man. All police officers, all correctional officers need to be retrained. It is time. America is way overdue. America is way overdue. All correctional officers and law enforcement need to be retrained. If it's going on and you can't see the signs of, of problems and you continue, yes, all correction officers and law enforcement need to be retrained. All correction officers and law enforcement training need to be updated. It's time. It's time for everything to be updated. We're not living in the old days and we're winning a whole new era. It's time for all y'all cuss, all y'all, all y'all do this need to be updated. Training need to be updated by all means. Stuff like this continue to happen over and over and over. It's time to update everyone's training. But like on my job, lots of fans suit y'all. All my training to get updated every so often. The same thing with law enforcement and correct officers. Y'all training needs to be updated ASAP to avoid this without like the people dying in custody. People dying in custody. It's a 10 people, 10 people to restrain one person. That's the first issue right there. He was already handcuffed and in restraints, and it still took 10 of y'all to restrain him. Why is that? Why is that? This story leads to so many questions that we might not never get answered to, but it just leads to a lot of questions. This is something that should not be happening. Shocker surveillance video has been released in connection with the death of 28 year old Ervo Artino, who died in police custody. As we report, Otina was taking handcuffs, was taken in handcuffs and lead irons from Richmond, Virginia to Central State Hospital in Pittsburgh from Henrico County Jail. He's already restrained. Why did it take 10 of y'all to restrain him? Why did it take 10 of y'all? Y'all training need to be updated ASAP. ASAP. Another victim who died in police custody in police custody this is sad this happening too this happened on a regular basis this is too rare to continue to happen it needs to be investigated you guys training 
needs to be updated by all means necessary. Yeah, I just want to share my thoughts on it. Speak my piece on it. So for a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in April. Tell me in the comment how y'all feel about this situation. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I'll give you a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in April. If you like my thoughts on this situation, moment to, moment to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post with notifications and be notified every time I upload a video. Also, I leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist out. Help me out as I help myself on this road to achieve 1 million views by the summer 31st, 2023. I am 300 views away. Just 300 views. This is the goal that can and will be achieved by my deadline of the summer 31st, 2023, baby.